What is up everybody? No Game 7 Sports Cards here. Look, today I just got back this 40 card sub uh, that I did to PSA. This is by far my favorite uh, card sub and probably the most profitable one that I've had so far. Um, this order encapsules cards from uh, all the way from back in November, I believe, up until uh, January, I think it's about two months of, of looking for cards, trying to find good deals, searching Craigslist, uh, filtering through all eBay, um, raw cards on my slabs, um, local cards, Craigslist, Marketplace. So uh, give me one second to cut this open. Let's get into the order. All right. So like I said, there's 40 cards in this order. Uh, total cost in cards for this order was about $3,500, um, $3,600. And then grading on top of it, another $800. So I'm coming in total cost about $4,300 on this. But you'll see, I, I went through comps just uh, Thursday, whenever, these, whenever the grades popped, and total comps come to around, right around, Ten, ten to eleven thousand. So, a pretty good return on this order. Uh, and I don't even know where to start. So many good cards in this. Like I said, <laughs> I'm super pumped whenever I saw these. Um, all right. So this is the first first one. I got this off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. Really cool guy I met out of Kansas City. Um, he got sick trying to send this to me. I thought I was getting scammed. I wasn't. Um, he was just sick. I think he'd come down with COVID, sent me this card, and sent me a Halliburton Obsidian free of charge. And this ended up getting a 10, so I really owe him a super cool card. Numbered to 99. I believe that's a pop two, and I really love Tyrese Maxey. I, I, I think he's going to be something special. Uh, next card, this nice Giannis uh, 2015 Prism die cut. Off, I got off eBay. Uh, there were a lot of cards that this account put up all at once on eBay, and uh, I think they didn't really know prices that well, so they just <laughs> threw out some random numbers. Some of them were good deals. Some of them were overpriced by 300, 400 uh, percent. This was one of the ones that was a pretty good deal. It's very low pop, numbered to 199. <laughs> really excited went to to get a 10 on that. I think it's a pop three maybe as a 10. This next one, one of my favorite cards, one of the ones I'll be keeping. Another Maxi from Choice, numbered to 88. You see there, PSA 9, still low pop. Here's a jaw I got from uh, eBay, numbered to 25. I know it's a bad time for jaw, but hopefully he can turn his life around and, you know, he is an amazing ball player, so. If he can, there's an excellent future for him still. But this came in a lot. Uh, got a really good deal on a lot. I'll show the other one. There are four cards in there. Uh, three of them are, I got graded. So that was a nine. Low pop. <clears throat> Ooh, one of my favorites here. Check this out. Look at that. Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, first year optic, blue, number to 49. I think that's a pop two, but man, what a sweet card. I love these cards where you have uh, multiple uh, Hall of Famers in there. You'll see a couple of those in this order. Check this out. Another one from the same one, PSA 10 Hollow. Got that from the same seller that I got that nice Giannis from. Really excited to have a 10 there. Okay. Hmm. I won't save this. There's so many cards, I guess I don't have to save them, but this, one of my favorite cards from the order. Boom, look at that. Now, researching sets, you know, there's so many different cards and variations out there. You gotta really do some research to find uh, good deals sometimes and find cool cards, but look, this is a hobby product, Panini Innovation, second year of innovation. Uh, second year of stained glass. These light blues are numbered, well, they're not numbered, but Panini said that they are produced to 20 or less. So this one is a pop one. 
Pop One Dirk PSA 10. Less than 20 exist in the world. That is a pretty cool card right there. These golds, uh, the golds came like one every, from box breaks I watched. They came probably one every four or five boxes. The golds were, so the golds are really rare. I mean, this is a pop one, and there aren't very many graded. Actually, there might not be any golds graded, but, you know, to have that PSA 10 pop one there on that gold two, oh, so that's pretty cool. Um, hmm. Looks like some of these are out of order. But so next we got the uh, Donovan Mitchell Hollow Nine. This came from the same seller as the Giannis. Uh, got a nine on this. It looked just as good as the other one that's in this order that you'll see in a second. But nine here. Oh, actually, I see a little bit of corner uh, corner ding there. So I, I see why that got a nine. Uh, Giannis Purple, also from First Year Optic, got a nine here. Um, the purple maybe not be as desirable as just a straight hollow, but the purple is actually a lot more rare. Like, you know, if you open optic yourself, you'll see you don't get as much purples as you get hollows. And the PSA pop count on the purples is like one quarter what the hollows are. So here's another one. Yana second year select. This would be the... A base level I guess but that prism PSA 10 extremely low pop as well on that next we got a Giannis 2016 first year optic also orange numbered to 199 PSA 10 there are uh, and I should have should have wrote down all the pops but this is a another very low pop card uh, next we got a Tyrese Maxey, Red Ice, Rookie, PSA 10. Beautiful card right there. Uh, these are good ones to grade because you can pick up raws. If you pay attention on, on eBay, you can get these raws really cheap on auction. You know, and then they sell for 100, between 100 to 150. You know, I think around playoffs, they'll probably jump back up to 140 or so. And, you know, you can 6x your money right there. Okay, here's another one of the dual... Hall of Fame cards, beautiful LeBron widescreen mojo prism, numbered to 25, and look at this, you got LeBron right there, and then who's that in the background, Steph Curry, that's pretty cool, I think this is one of the kind of overlooked cards as far as numbered parallels, um, you know, to have those two guys together I think is pretty cool. All right, look at this. LeBron, Case Hidden Fuego, PSA 10 from 2020 Select. Really nice card. Not the silver. Still an awesome card to have as a PSA 10. And mm, look at that. Man, I love fast break disco variations. Um, and they're actually, you know, it's funny. The numbered parallels of fast break are... You typically cheaper than the uh, straight colored variations out of prism but the fast break discos typically go for more than the silvers because the pop is less and I think people just like it better I mean would you rather have this or a silver but it's a PSA 10 absolutely beautiful card this is also from the same seller on eBay that I picked up that Giannis from earlier I got like 20 cards in that order and most of these got graded next LeBron test of time, numbered to 49. It's only a PSA, PSA 8, but I think there's three in this grade and two higher total. Um, you know, it's just, you have that dark border on the back and it shows some white. You know, a little bit of uh, issue on the corner there, but still, really nice card. Okay, this is uh, one of the other four jaws from the one I told you I bought as a lot. Check this out, PSA 10 teal prism these the teals i love hoops premium stock i think it was a really awesome product and it's one year only but these teals were super super short printed so this one is a pop 24 or 26 something like that and you know there, there were tons of these uh, hoops premium graded so i would guess these are probably numbered then 
easily less than 100, maybe 50 or so, but, you know, what an awesome card. PSA 10, like I said, I really hope he, he does turn around because <laughs> it was a lot bigger card before he got into trouble. Uh, next, we got this Kobe from 15 Certified. Absolutely beautiful card. Look at that kind of snakeskin design behind him there. Numbered to 149. Very low pop, only a few graded there. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. I knocked over my light source. Um, okay, so next, I've really been trying to pick up a lot of these uh, uh, early years of Select and Prism. This is 2014 Select. Absolutely beautiful. I love die cuts. If you can get me a numbered card that's a die cut, I'll buy it pretty much whoever the player is. But This is a beautiful Kobe numbered to 199 uh, I can't remember what the pop is on this. I think there's only one or two PSA 10s, but that is a cool card right there. All right, let's see what we got next. Okay, next from the same year, Steph Curry, 2014. This is the, it's pretty awesome card. I mean, the this is the year that he won his first MVP. It's numbered to 99. Uh, I want to say that it actually might be a pop one. Or maybe pop two. I don't think th there's any graded higher than that. But absolutely beautiful card there. Next, also from Innovation. These came from the Hobby Boxes, the same one that the uh, stained glasses came from. Um, we got a nice Kobe, numbered to 199. I believe all the base cards were numbered here. You could get the uh, the view cards that have. I think there's a blue variation and maybe a gold one and I think there's three or four numbered variations but this is the base one still a cool card PSA 9 all right next up look at that another blue uh, I got all of my blues from the same seller somebody that had been hoarding them from overseas and obviously took good care of them because here's another PSA 10 the, these Kyries are pop three as PSA 10 and I have two of them so that's pretty cool right there to me um, next also from that lot of the jaws we have the green prism out of hoops premium that's a PSA 10 next up beautiful LeBron SP variation 2014 prism I love that card that's very low pop too Here's another blue stained glass. Uh, this is the only one that didn't get a 10 on that one. I'm not sure. The back centering's a little OC. I would think that'd be within PSA 10 guidelines, but I'm not gonna knock it. I got so many PSA 10s in this order, I was very happy. Next, got the LeBron Fast Break, another one. PSA 10 also, and these are you know, the pop on these is under 100, and people have been grading them like crazy. So I feel pretty good about those cards and where the pop's at on them. Here's the last Kyrie of the blue stained glass. And I am, I'm always looking to pick these up. I love those blues. Next, we got a D-Wade. I believe that's a pop one. 2006 Finest, number two, 299. Beautiful card right there. Okay, uh, this was a different seller, but this also came from overseas. This is the first year stained glass that came out of Innovation Hobby as well. And uh, <clears throat> the purple is also short printed, just like the blue is. And whenever I saw this on eBay, it was actually on such a dark background, like this black, that I couldn't even tell you could hardly tell if it was purple or base, and it actually went a lot lower than it should have. So, you know, I just I knew what I was looking for, and it ended up being a nine, which is pretty awesome. There was a little tiny scratch on the base. I think that's probably where that nine came from. But very happy. I think that's there's only like three graded of those. Oh, all right. One of my first Kobe rookies to get a ten in a long time. Got a 10 on that finest. This I bought in a bulk lot locally. Uh, the guy had a ton of Kobe rookies. I've graded most of them. I don't think I got any 
tens out of those. Uh, this is probably the only ten I got out of it, but you know that was a this was a really nice card to get a ten on. I love Kobe, Kobe, Jason Tatum. All right, I'll save that one for. Well, I'll do it now. This is the only card I was disappointed in because this was an SGC nine five, basically, and I sent it in expecting at least a nine, and I got an eight. So. I'm definitely going to crack that and send it into BGS. I mean, it's centered perfectly. It had like a tiny, tiny, I wouldn't even call it a dimple, but, you know, something on the surface. I mean, all these corners in the back are perfect. The centering's perfect. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to, not going to get too upset about it, you know out of 40 cards that's the only grade I was disappointed in so I'll live with that uh, another maxi cracked dice red PSA 9 this one um, maybe a little top to bottom centering issue or something or maybe that corner there I don't know it looks pretty good overall but all right maxi silver that's another one I'll probably probably crack that and send it to BGS just to see if I can get a 9.5 there. Um, this one I bought, I, I wanted to grade it anyway because uh, you see that corner there. The seller didn't disclose on eBay that it had a, an issue like that. But I like grading them just because then there's, uh, you know, you're... You're letting people know exactly what they're getting, right? I don't want to sell that and hide that or tell somebody there's a corner issue and then they don't know where it will be. But that one came back to seven. Fast break, numbered to 175. Really like Max. I might hold on to it, not sure. Another Giannis from 16, another 10. Number two of 190, 199. <clears throat> All right, this one was pretty cool too. This is uh, also from the overseas seller. Got a PSA 10 here. This is a uh, from Studio uh, 2016. This is another product that I, I was a standalone product, I guess, for just one year only. And the sketch cards are actually really short printed out of there. Um, from what I've seen, uh, I've watched a couple cases on YouTube, you know, just kind of seeing what people were pulling back then, and it looked like they were only maybe a couple per case or something like that. So that is a very, very short printed card. PSA 10 there. Cool one to have. Love you on us. I hope they don't beat the Celtics this year in the playoffs. We're not looking that great, but we'll see. Uh, all right. Donovan Mitchell, rookie. Select scope. Um... These scopes are ones that are way undervalued. The the silvers from Select actually sell for about I don't know 50, 60 percent more than the than the scopes do. But the scope, the population on the scopes is typically about one third of what the silvers are. And look at that design. That's beautiful, isn't it? PSA 10 there. Love Donovan Mitchell's game. He's amazing. That'll that'll go way up during playoffs. Uh, <clears throat> Here's another hollow. We did get a 10 on this one. Very happy about that. Looked looks awesome. Oh, and here is, I have the hardest time grading silvers, but on my last sub and on this sub, I finally got a couple tens. So very happy about that. Jalen Green, excellent young basketball player. And that's the end of the 40 card order. So I appreciate you checking this out. Uh, if you get a chance to subscribe, that's great. I've got a few more uh, returns coming back. Thinking about uh, putting out a few more videos, just kind of talking about my process of how I go look for cards. Like I said, this this order was excellent, uh, really, really profitable. But you know, also a lot of cards that I want to keep. I'm not doing everything to flip. I do, I flip that way. I can hold on to a lot of cards that I like. So uh, that's it. Until next time. Thanks. Have a great one.